Venturing into the world of nursing, one is met with an ocean of information, each drop demanding attention and retention. The challenge isn't just about absorbing knowledge, but doing so methodically, ensuring each fragment finds its right place in the vast expanse of one's mind. Drawing from my personal journey through nursing school, let me show you how I set up my decks that allowed me to study the most efficiently. In the initial phase of my nursing program, I created what can only be described as the grandest, most legendary, all-encompassing deck. I named it the University School of Nursing. This beast of a deck served as the foundational epicenter of my study journey. From the main deck, I branched out into the first class of the nursing program, which, for the sake of our discussion, we shall refer to as Class 1. In my program, each class was structured around two to three units, with a unit exam marking the culmination of each unit. Given the compact nature of our seven to eight week classes, the volume of information presented in a short time was staggering. Consequently, when organizing my subdecks beneath each class, I adopted a strategy of creating one subdeck for each unit within the class. This approach allowed me to maintain a singular focus on the material pertinent to the upcoming unit exam. Within each unit subdeck, I further subdivided topics or exemplars that required attention. However, it's worth noting that the level of detail I employed in creating subdecks may not be necessary for everyone. An equally effective approach involves diligent tagging of each card, which we'll delve into later. During my first year, I made the mistake of attempting to create subdecks for each week within a unit. For instance, I organized week one, week two, and week three under unit one. While this method may appear sound, it's often superfluous. First, everything within unit one was pertinent to the same exam, which makes the weekly breakdown redundant. Secondly, when creating subdecks for each unit, I found it more beneficial to separate material by topic rather than by week. However, if you prefer, you can create subdecks for both weeks and topics, although it's not essential. To illustrate, most of my classes followed a Tuesday-Thursday lecture schedule with three to four lectures before a unit exam. Consider, for example, Unit 1. The first class on Thursday of Week 1 might delve into diabetes mellitus. The Tuesday class in Week 2 might cover heart failure, and Thursday of Week 2 could explore osteoporosis. Now, during the weekend of week one, I would create all my cards related to diabetes mellitus, allowing me four days to study them before the Tuesday heart failure lecture in week two. This is where the utility of separating topics becomes evident. With subdecks dedicated to each topic, I can intensely focus on heart failure for two days, building upon the four days I already spent on diabetes mellitus. This enabled more efficient retention and comprehension. Following the Thursday osteoporosis lecture, I would dedicate Friday to complete the card deck for that topic. Saturday would commence with osteoporosis material, followed by revisiting diabetes mellitus and heart failure. Sunday would encompass all three topics with a final review on Monday. On exam days, which would be Tuesday in this example, I would wake up around 5 a.m. armed with a cup of coffee for a comprehensive review of the entire unit deck before the morning test which was usually scheduled around 9 a.m. This methodology instilled a profound sense of confidence as I entered the nursing building for exams, securing the knowledge that I possessed a comprehensive grasp of the required material. While some of my classmates anxiously crammed information into their minds just before the test, I relied on Anki's efficient structure to assure me of my understanding. Admittedly, I did keep the Anki app on my phone, flipping through cards while walking to the test center but it never hurts to squeeze in a little extra review. However, I must share a cautionary tale about last minute cramming. During that first year, as we tackled the lab values for parameters like hemoglobin, red blood cell count, and hematocrit, I invested most of my time in understanding diseases, clinical manifestations, and nursing interventions. Unfortunately, I neglected to commit lab values to memory, merely pressing the I know button during my studies. But just moments before an exam, I came across the lab values for red blood cells in my Anki deck. And I told myself I knew it, even though I really didn't. Lo and behold, not even halfway into the test, I stumbled upon a question requiring the knowledge of that lab value. And it slipped my mind completely. The lesson here is simple. If you haven't grasped a concept well before the test, last minute cramming is unlikely to yield precise recall. 
In nursing school, mastering the ocean and knowledge can be intense. But as illustrated through my journey with Anki and the University School of Nursing Deck, the keys to success lie in meticulous organization, strategic planning, and a keen understanding of one's learning patterns. Crafting a structured study methodology not only anchors knowledge firmly, but also alleviates the overwhelming sensation of drowning in information. My experience taught me the importance of consistent engagement, honest self-assessment, and discovering Anki's full potential. So, as you venture further into nursing school, armed with tools and strategies, remember, knowledge when approached with intent and proven methods changes from being a challenge to an old friend. So, chart your course, lean into the process, and let your dedication pave the way to academic success.